Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to... I'm not goofy enough in these, I feel like. I, I talk a lot, but I want to start playing around with these more often. How goes it? Now, I know what some of you are probably saying. Are you doing another Netflix show first episode when you haven't even done episode two of Lucifer or Umbrella Academy? You're right. I am doing that, but I've already got two. Uh, I've already got the episodes wrapped up for next week. Next week, I've got everything. Finally, I've been talking about it forever and ever. Finally, have all the episodes for next week already done. So I was like, you know what? Fly Manor. Because I'm not really a horror guy. I like I. Like, growing up, I was a giant pussy. I was afraid of everything, so I didn't like horror movies for that reason. And then as I got older, and I just kind of like stopped believing in everything, I, then the horror movies didn't bother me in that way. The only, the only horror movie I've ever truly loved is Event Horizon. Event Horizon is the only horror genre thing that I truly love. I haven't watched it in a while, but I truly loved Event Horizon. I had a roommate that used to turn his eyelids inside out because so whenever I was really blazed, and he'd be like, where we're going, we don't need eyes, Joe. And I'm just like, ah! I don't play scary games. I always say it's like PT. <laughs> PT, the, the Silent Hills trailer uh, teaser demo thing that they had. I couldn't even play that. I had to watch, I've watched like, I want to say 30 people play that shit on YouTube. And it still gets me like nervous every time I watch it. So I was really surprised that I fucking adored Haunting of Hill House. Ending, yeah, yeah. The bent neck lady is like, even though I know who slash what she is slash was, I still get creeped out by her. Like, I still, like, I didn't know about uh, sleep uh, paralysis and, like, the little black demons that some people see when they can't wake up. Fuck that. That shit scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I used to actually, when I used to bartend before everything shut down, I used to look because I would close by myself. I'd be the only person there at like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And I would look at the, the front door and I would keep looking up. And for some reason, I kept expecting to see the bent neck lady in the, in the door. And I don't know why I was trying to make it happen. I was trying to like make myself hallucinate. And my only thought was, hey, if I wake, if I look up and I actually start seeing bent neck ladies, I'm like, my life's going to be way more interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I really dug, uh, I really dug uh, Hill House. The, the casting was on point. I like Timothy Hutton because Leverage was my jam. I've seen Nell in a couple things. She was in You season two. I don't think I've seen anybody. I mean, I'm sure I've seen other um, some of them in other things, but I just don't recognize them. But I, just the way it was, the way it was told, it was it was slightly cerebral. It wasn't. It was more atmospheric than. Rah! Like the scariest part to me is the is the the bowler hat dude that just like slides. I don't know why that dude creeps me the fuck out as much as he does, but that dude creeps me the fuck out. Like even though the scene with him under the bed when he comes in even though that was probably the scarier scene when he's all grown up and he's just like walking through town and he's just behind him the entire time for some reason i don't know why that shit that that's the creepiest part of the entire show to me don't like creepy bowler hat dude um i remember reading that the the creator of the show originally hadn't had written them all being in the red room like the window was supposed to be behind them during that last scene of luke's birthday party i think that would have been the better ending i like he he wrote that he didn't want to do it because he wanted to give him a happy ending he's like yo man like, i wrote this many episodes i really came to love these characters and i didn't want to leave it like that i wanted them to have a happy ending it's my show go fuck yourself and i get it like i've got this from gravity 
I got this from Gravity Falls just because it's, it's creepy and spooky. And without spoiling it for people that haven't watched Gravity Falls, there's a kind of a cop out at the end of the final episode. And Alex Hirsch, the creator, said the same thing. He was like, listen, man, it's my show. It's my show. They're my characters. If I want to write them having a happy ending, I'm going to write them having a happy ending. And there's nothing you can do. I don't, get, I don't give a shit. I get it. I, like, I, I was entertained enough with the entire season that that's, that doesn't bother me, that the final episode is kind of weak. I used to, I remember the first time that I was watching it and I saw all the people just kind of chilling in the background. They never say or do anything. You're not even supposed to like really notice them. They're just, if you want to go back and like, ah, oh, there's one over there. Yeah, there's one over there. But I was looking forward to this. I was hearing people say that it wasn't as good as season one. And season one, as much as I loved it, had its weak moments at times. But I was just, I don't know if it's from like Deadline, some shit like that. I was looking at an article just recently. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? There it is. Haunting of Blind Manor review from TheVerge.com says, A puzzle box disguised as a ghost story. And I love puzzle box type shit. So, just because I, like literally I was going to hold off on this until I got some more shit wrapped up. But just because I, I heard that and I, I need more mystery, ever since Dark ever since dark ended, I don't have a whole lot of mystery stuff. Like, there's kind of a mystery in The Boys Season 2. I'm on episode, like, 5, I think. Like, literally, that's my favorite shit in the world. Like, sure, I, I, I was the dork back in, like, middle school that used to skip, or not skip, I used to go to the library during lunch period. And rather than hang out with anybody, I would just read old Sherlock Holmes type shit. Like I just I, I love mysteries. So when I heard that this was more of a mystery puzzle box, I was super intrigued by that. Plus, it might give me a reason to start. I want to start doing a a, a a a streaming every day of certain things because this is kind of a spooky mystery puzzle box. I never got done uh, playing the Room VR. And that shit was creepy as fuck, and I loved. And I I've played the Room one and two, so I might do the room next week when I when the season when I drop uh, episode two of this I think that's I think that's everything some people were saying in the comments I didn't see any spoilers but some people were saying in the comment section they're like listen it's not the same as season one season one was supposed to be a horror thing this is more cerebral but it does pay off at near the end they said I'm not I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna go any further I just wanted to Give a little preface. Uh, got my coffee. Got my. I, I could make it spookier, but then the lighting doesn't look as good. And I know they said that uh, they've got. Yeah, there's Nell already. They've got some of the same people. The way that. Uh, the way that American Horror Story does it. I've actually, I never watched an episode of American Horror Story, despite the fact that I think FX has the best shows. I never watched it until like four days ago. I watched like seven episodes of um, Asylum. It was alright. But I really do feel like PT. Like once you've watched PT as many times as I have, I feel like you get a little bit desensitized to not as creepy horror like i always say i like creepy way more than i like scary mike flanagan i think that's the same dude right i think that's the guy i was talking about earlier that's right carla gugino forgot about her i don't think i knew who she was until sin city It's going to be weird seeing everybody as different characters in kind of the same show. Because again, I've only watched one season of American Horror Story, so I haven't had that problem yet. <laughs> Alright. I was going to say that because I, I hate wedding speeches, but that was... Slightly morbidly funny. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Gave you as much as it scared me in the night, Don't be 
Mm -hmm. I agree. She looks great with, with uh, gray hair. Doug Stanhope has a whole bit where he's talking about how so either you get together and you break up, or you get together, you stay together, and then you get married, and then you get divorced. You get you, you, you get together, you get married, you don't get divorced, you have kids, and then you get divorced. You get married, you have kids, you don't get divorced, your kids stick alive, and then one of you dies, and the rest, and the other one spends the rest of their life lonely and miserable. Like, and that's the preferred choice. So that kind of made me feel like that. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Why is everybody like? Does she have? No, she's not British. Did I not know that she was from England? Oh, it's crazy. It's rubbish. It is. What's this Are You Afraid of the Dark shit? Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. <sighs> this is some Are You Afraid of the Dark shit. I'm okay with that. Aren't they bringing that back, actually? I remember hearing that somebody was re rebooting Are You Afraid of the Dark. Oh shit, that's cool looking. The dude. I don't want to see that again. Go back. <coughs> creepy. Super creepy. Kind of reminds me of Sin City. Who was that? It was uh, Frodo with the creepy glasses in the background. It's a nice suit. Is this the dad now? I remember his eyes looking different, or maybe he got contacts for that? Is that him? I think that's him. That's, yeah, I'm, I'm like, no, that's him. That's gotta be him. How did I not recognize him? Did he have contacts in? Or was it, or was it just the lighting? Because I feel like they're doing a decent enough job with their British impersonations. That's so stupid. I feel ridiculous that I didn't recognize him. You know what? We always get British actors doing really great American accents that I don't realize. I guess it's only right that we finally start doing our best. I like that. Or do you prefer it in your tea? That's right, it's called a hot toddy. Right. Never mind the parasite abroad, never mind the governess took her own. So yes, the story precedes the job, at least. This guy's a good actor. No he did a fantastic young Timothy Hutton. And I buy the Englishman. Miss. Look, I don't know the specific, but I know how to handle kids. Uh, maybe I'd make a difference. I could. I could make a difference. A real difference. With just two. It's a good, it's a good pitch. I know what loss is. Job's yours. <laughs> Who's she talking to? Mom or dad? You know you're drinking when you say that. I'm gonna, anyway. I'm gonna say mom. You can reach me when I get to the house. Why does she have all the mirrors covered? I'll call you when I have the number. I love you, mama. 
Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> okay, that, that that explains that. I didn't know if she saw the creepy dude in the in the window. I thought she just got freaked out because the car came too close to her or something. So this is Carla Gugino telling a story. Well, this is '87, so maybe she is Carla Gugino as a younger. I mean, if Carla can play her mom, she can play an older version. I still can't get over how good she looks with the gray hair. Oh, okay, I thought she went into like some Silent Hill shit. how I feel about South Florida. Like, yes, beaches, sunshine, palm trees. Great. I want to see snow. <laughs> Fuck Florida. I'm done. I'm going to laugh if, like, every single person in here with a British accent is American doing a British accent. Dude, that's everywhere. Again, South Florida. And almost everybody that I know is born here, raised here. Aw, I like that. I would do this too. I'm all I wanna just move to some quiet countryside. I can't remember which which uh, reaction I said it in, but I wanna go somewhere where you have to like walk two hours to get to a supermarket. I want to be just far away from everybody. I have been A-OK -okay with social distancing. I feel like that's the same staircase. <laughs> no, that's the staircase from... Bitch! <laughs> He's perfectly splendid. Oh, I don't like how they keep saying that. I can't tell if she's just being a cute little kid or if that perfectly splendid thing. Yeah, no, I don't trust that shit. Don't say it. There you go. I can't tell if this chick is cute or annoying. I don't know, man. I feel like they were past the point of diminishing returns on... Hey, you little perv. No! Obviously not. I don't trust that thing. It's cursed. This, this kid's creepy. This kid's creepy in a polite way, though. Not in a typical, scary, creepy little kid. Ah, oh, there's a mirror. There you go. I don't understand cream and tea. I get cream and coffee. He wasn't perfectly splendid. Me too. Ugh! Oh, <laughs> no! Stay away! 
<laughs> Stay away. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anything in like hiding in the backgrounds. All right, she's back to being cute and not annoying. Like I said, I feel like the perfectly, I couldn't tell if the perfectly splendid thing was her being creepy or her just being a cute little kid. I feel like if they had done two less perfectly splendids, it would have been okay. <laughs> what? What is? Yes, you're very. Uh, I told you. Your brother gave it to me. Take it off. It was Mouse or it was the other chicks? Okay, take it off. Not that big of a deal. The girl that died, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, see, fuck that. What is she looking at? Does she see the creepy dude in the mirror? That's peculiar. Dude, that is so fucking creepy. Something about just glowing white eyes always freaking freaks me the fuck out. Something I remember reading somewhere where it's some kind of a uh, evolutionary trait we're used to looking out when we were like hunter gatherers living in the wild looking out into the darkness if we would see eyes it would like make us think that we were about to get killed by a you know bear or some shit Tell him. All right, that's that's. This kid is. I can't remember ever seeing a, a child actor be so politely creepy. It's a, it's an odd change of pace. Is that me? You know what she meant. You, Miss, have a lot of dolls. And we are going to like I would have so many questions. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, before we go to sleep, who's this? Who's that? The fuck is this? I don't like this thing at all. Under the piano. Don't kill yourself. I'll promise that. <laughs> For real. You're good. I'll go to the bathroom. No, fuck that. I'll go to the bathroom before I go to sleep. Don't leave the room until morning. Gotcha. No, fuck that. Don't do it. Look at her. Tonight found me unpaired restless. Fuck that. Read a book. The floor had fell. The rooms were larger at night. Though the house itself was a mere deep. There's no way this place doesn't have a not a library, but probably a spot that has a shit ton of books. Yeah, and you're already seeing creepy dude in the mirror. 
But I don't know if creepy dude in the mirror is just like a past memory coming back to haunt her or an actual spirit of some sort. And I'm just cleared out to be explored. Nope. Especially the first night? Come on. I would listen the first night, see, and then ask questions the next day. I'd be like, you know what? Creepy kids got a bunch of creepy dolls. Creepy brothers giving me dead au pair butterfly clips. Creepy kid tells me, don't leave the room at nighttime. Promise me. I'm going to stay in the... I'm staying in my room the entire night, and then the next day I'm going to be like, all right, yo. Real quick, got some questions for you. Does she just want to practice tea? Wouldn't that wake everybody up? When it starts. Okay. I might have to watch a couple of episodes of this later on. I'm trying to get a head start on all my shows, but I want to watch this at nighttime. I love that she seems to be like the, oh, well, this is just the first episode. I was going to say she seems to be the main character. See? Now everybody's up. What the fuck is that? What a beautiful day. I will never get tired of this place, I swear. I wouldn't either. Matt. I'd live here for the rest of my life. No problem. Lady of the Lake? Ah! Is that what this is from? You lie. Why are you lying to me? Like I was saying how in Umbrella Academy, I firmly believe that uh, Aiden, Aiden Gillen, who's that? Who's this guy? Is that Luke? I was saying that Aiden Gillen, or whatever his name is, he uh, he seems like an older person inside of a kid's body. I feel like this little kid is got like a like possessed or something. And I should be watching this with my little sister. I feel like they're the same age difference. The gardener did not even introduce herself to any of parents. She barely acknowledged her at all. It's weird having a narration. Was there somebody working on the grounds today? Maybe a repairman or something? Tall dude. I believe so. Because I saw a guy on the parapet on my way in. Well, that person with the old wings. And where don't we go? Mm hmm. Yeah, no, fuck that. Horseshit. You're not gonna be in here? Like, no, I'd remember a dude I've never seen staring at me from a balcony. Parapet, whatever it's called. And I've never heard that word before. Yeah, I would do all this shit during the daytime. I'm not that it matters to spooky spirits, but I don't know, I'd feel a hell of a lot safer. I love her her whole vibe right now. This whole the hair, the earrings, the, the, the sweater. She's crushing this look right now. Crushing this look right now. I go to the little girl right now. Hey, did you make this thing? What the fuck is this? She was a bright girl. Wonderful, she 
Mm-hmm. All right, that's. That's plenty, plenty good reason for those kids to be fucked up. Dead people. Maybe it's just a Roman Catholic thing. I thought that lighting candles for the dead was something that a lot of people did, or a lot of religions did. I don't think so. Oh shit. No more games, Miles. You like games, honey? You like big time? So this time we can dream. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent on her side. <laughs> Stop being weird. He's so weird sometimes. Like for her to be the one that found the body, I feel like she's Way better, well adjusted. All right, she came back around with the perfectly splendid, because that was kind of cute. I was gonna say, how did you not see that? Under the under the bureau. Where would you like to go now? Which way, please? What else am I doing? It's, something's about to go down. There's an electric fan in the storage cupboard. I'm not sure if the gas will come through. That that light in the cupboard. Would you fetch it for me? I need to be sure. Oh, you you're good. These kids are up to something. I'd be like, yo, you're here. Go, go. How would you give that to her? Okay, let's look. They're going to lock her in there? I don't see it. You see how she's like. Nah, fuck these kids. No. Hell no. Okay. Hell no. Hell no. Nah. Nah. Fuck this. Open it. Sure you are. Then why would you do it in the first place? Well, there's no mirrors in here at least. Is she claustrophobic? Oh, fuck. I guess there is a mirror. It's definitely the end of the episode, but I hate that because I got so many questions now. So many questions. Oh, it's, I thought for sure that was going to be the, the end of the episode. My fucking dick. Backhand him. Bed. She, she meant. Yeah. Bed. That's why you got. Now. So where's the fan? We can we'll talk about it in the morning. Yeah, nuts to these kids. I would take the doll and throw it at her. Here you go. Go to sleep. I'd wait till she was asleep and then I'd put the doll on the dresser. <laughs> I did that to my little sister with her Furby. <laughs> she locked it in the bathroom because she was afraid of it the first night she got it. I took it out of the bathroom. I put it by her bureau. I opened up its eyes. Who's who outside? 
It's his Lady in the Lake footprints. Man, fuck this shit. Like any time that they have like a thing on like Twitter, you know, some creepy house, and they're like, "Would you stay, the you know, twenty four hours in this place if you would be given ten thousand dollars?" And I'm always like, "Hell yeah!" I don't believe in anything, so who cares? But nah, nah. I'm with you until the footsteps. I can deal with I can deal with the creepy kids locking you in a closet. Kids are just weird. I'm with you on that. Again, we don't know whether the the glasses glowing eyes dude is just a traumatic experience that her brain is fucking with her with or if it's actually a ghost spirit. So I don't know about that yet. Seeing the dude on the balcony, that's a little creepy. The fact that nobody knows who you're talking about. I'd, I'd be a little bit concerned, but for $10,000, I'd still stick around. But as soon as I go downstairs, after, and it's, I think it's just them and the kids that are there right now. As soon as I go downstairs and the doors open and there's footprints everywhere, nah, fuck that, I'm out. Keep your 10G, I'm good. Keep your 10G, I'm good. Alright, so, so far, I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a way different feel. These kids, though. These kids are way too... Like, they do a really good job of being borderline creepy. Like, like, like I said, normally when it comes to child actors and, like, horror movies and shit like that, they're either... Super, super adorable, and they get horrified and scared, like the kids from Hill House. Or they're very. Come and play with us. Come and play. But these kids do a really good job of walking a line where I'm not entirely. Like, with like in almost every scene of theirs, I wasn't sure what side it fell on. Whether it was creepy or cute. So, good job on... I mean, Netflix finds some really talented child actors. I'll give them credit for that. Um, I like the the setting. This, you know, Bly Manor. Pretty fucking cool. I'm digging it. I want to know if that was Luke, though. That was... Because I don't know how many people are coming back from the first season. I can't believe that I didn't realize that that was... Timothy Hutton's younger self. I don't know his name. Henry Thomas plays Henry Wingrave. But yeah, I feel real stupid that I didn't realize that was him. I guess the accent threw me off. Because if this is a puzzle box, like I said, I love mysteries and putting stuff together. So I want to see if I can, as, as we're going along, see if I can guess some of this shit. Oh, no, silly, you're you. I want to see. Okay, so. All right, so that's the other au pair. I don't know who this in the background of the au pair is, but that's my first question. Since this chick killed herself, my first question is who is this? Who is this doll supposed to be? Real quick. All right, then you got. That looks like a gardener hat. Definitely got some questions about that one. <laughs> no, no, go back, go back. There was more, I remember. Guy with the beard being dragged. I can't tell if that's just a dead body or if it's being like dragged down the stairs on the other side. All right, so this, I'm going to assume this is her. I'm going to assume that this little girl, that this girl in the bed is Flora. And just the fact that this dude is right here in the background creeping on her. I don't know, maybe the chick that was at the church, she said that the guy swindled a bunch of money and then dipped. Maybe the guy did something fucked up to the little girl. The way that the Mr. Smiley episode from last season. 
But all right, cool. This will be something. I'm trying to add a little bit more to these reaction videos, so I feel like these little dissecting episode one. 230 comments. This episode is perfectly splendid, but the classroom is quite boring. I'm so creeped out by Miles. Holy shit, I'm so creeped out by Flora. I'm going to type in Reddit as we're doing this. Someone wrote, I'm so creeped out by Miles. I wrote, he walks, he walks such a perfect line of polite and normal and smashes kittens with a hammer creepy. There was a figure in the mirror when Danny picked up the doll. I just got, I just got chills up my spine. Hold on, I want to. No, this, I'm, I'm here right now. Perfect. I don't see any. I don't see any shadowy figure in the mirror. I guess that that mirror looks like there might be something in it. Maybe I just can't. Maybe just the quality is not that great. I just can't see it. But I don't see anything. How did I? God damn it! I missed the plague doc. I saw the plague doctor when she was walking back from making tea. But there was a plague doctor while they were sitting. This is fun. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's like going on little Easter egg hunts. Oh, the plague doctor. He said his mom was dying. All right, so there's no plague doctor there. Uh, don't see plague doctors. Wow, they said that Plague Doctor is like everywhere. How the fuck do I not see this? Sorry, I don't mean to just not be talking about it. I mean, I feel like I talked about it enough during and after, but now I want to see this fucking Plague Doctor. And easier to hide something at nighttime. Maybe that's just it. Maybe my, my color settings are off. Because I don't see anything. Fuck. If you guys know where these ghosts are, let me know in the comments. Let me know like what at what timestamp. Yeah, they are very, that's the thing about the, uh, the British accents is that they are all very play-y, not like fun time play, like Othello play. Actually, I'm happy that this is here because I want to get a picture of Creepy Dude to paint. I think we're going to go with the one in her, in her hostel room. And it looks like, I can't tell if it's fire in his eyes. But man, that shit is creepy as fuck. I'm getting like goosey bump chills. Yeah, see, she almost walks, like she walks into the street and then the car almost hits her. So I thought that that was what she got freaked out about at first. Because like, her eyes don't look like she's looking at him. <laughs> Somebody wrote, he looks exactly like Elijah Wood's character from Sin City. And then someone else wrote, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> These are damn near the creepiest kids I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing how quickly can turn on a dime. The boy can be downright threatening at times, and otherwise I see just a sweet, innocent boy who wants a hug. The girl goes from moments of almost emptiness behind her words to pure emotion. But somebody's talking about how bad the accent was for Henry Thomas. I don't know. It's not okay to me. But again, I'm not British, so I don't... I do love the paintings in this the uh, uh during the opening credits hey, this is okay good this is exactly what i want to hear i found one flaw in carla gugino who is otherwise completely flawless her english accent is a bit all over the place sometimes it's strongly northern between yorkshire and monk sometimes she's got a posh london accent and definitely has flat southern a's see that's the kind of shit that i like i love hearing about like dissection of accents I always wonder how annoying it is for British people to hear Americans doing an accent. Even as an American, while I cannot tell you at all what's bad about it, it doesn't sound auth authentic. -it? That's not a word. It's like going from Cajun to Midwestern to Californian to Southern to New Jersey all in the same sentence. So annoying finishing the episode without seeing a single background ghost and then seeing all these comments. I did look that up when I was trying to see if the little girl was the same. Someone said, the girl sounds just like Peppa Pig. She is. She just, I think they said 2017. She just started playing Peppa Pig. <laughs> My decision to not have children has definitely been reaffirmed. The way that the, the way that the kid, Miles, the way that he talks, he just, he feels older than he is. Like he, 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 he goes into having little kid, little boy vibes, but 
Sometimes I feel like he's like got like a fucking 30 year old in there. Sorry, this is definitely gonna be one of those shows. Like I used to love, one of my favorite things about going through uh, Lost was going through and seeing all the all the theories and all the different like, oh, I think this is what this means. I think that's what this means. It was kind of hard with Dark because Dark was just so like I could like I, like <laughs> there were so many moments where I, I just don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. This is a show where I feel like they're 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 planting the seeds pretty well. Ugh. Definitely gonna be one of these shows that I enjoy watching. Still though, here's creepy dude, but he definitely looks just fucking like Elijah Wood's creepy eye character glasses thing all right so thanks for coming by i'll see you next week for the next episode which i am sure will be perfectly splendid